What's up guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Sennheiser Ambio VR microphone or any other VR microphone with the Zoom F8 multi-track recorder. Now before we get right into the setup, there are a few other things that you're gonna need. So besides the obvious of the Zoom F8 multi-track recorder and your VR microphone, you're gonna need a 12 pin to 12 pin XLR cable. You're gonna need a 12 pin to three pin XLR breakout cable, as well as an SD card and a good pair of headphones. What you're gonna to wanna to do first is grab your VR microphone and then plug the 12 pin to 12 pin XLR cable right into the bottom of that. Once that's screwed on, you're gonna grab your 12 pin to three pin XLR breakout cable and screw that right into the other end of the 12 pin XLR. Now that that's together, you're gonna to take the four three pin XLRs that are all color coded and you're gonna be plugging them into ports one through four on the Zoom F8. Now it is important in which order you plug these in. The yellow one is gonna go into channel one, the red one is gonna go into channel two, the blue one is gonna go into channel three, and the green one into channel four. Once those are in, we can power on the Zoom F8, and while this is booting up, we can put in our SD card as well as plugging in our headphones. Once it's powered on and we have everything plugged in, we're gonna go into the menu, and we're gonna scroll down to input, then ambisonic mode, format, and then scroll all the way down to Ambix and Ambisonic A. This is the best generic setting for recording 360 audio and should work for most situations. We'll push in the jog wheel to set that mode and then we're gonna hit the menu button a bunch of times to back out back to our digital meters. What we wanna do now is engage both of the recording options. So we're gonna hit channel one and that's gonna engage all four of the XLRs and the Ambix recording mode for our first channel and then we're gonna turn on channel five and that's gonna record the second or bottom layer recording of the Ambisonic A mode. Once both of those channels are on, you should start to hear some audio coming in from your microphone and how you're gonna adjust the volume or gain of this is you're gonna use channel one for the first recording of the Ambix or Ambisonic B and you're gonna use the channel five knob to adjust the recording level of the Ambisonic A. Now this is a really important step because to use ambisonics, all of the gain levels for all of the tracks have to be exactly the same to get the proper spatial recognition of where things are in a VR environment. And I'll dive a little more into that when we get into post, but you need to make sure that all of the gain levels are exactly the same for VR recording, which is why we link all of the tracks, so one through four onto the channel one knob, and then five through eight onto the channel five knob. So that's it, it's a pretty simple and easy setup. And again, this is just a very basic general use for 360 audio recording. Obviously there's some other settings in here that you could change and some other ambisonic recording modes that you could try out. So definitely dive into those deeper if you're looking for something a little more advanced. If you wanna learn more about VR recording with either audio or video, I have a bunch of videos coming out the rest of this week and next week covering the actual setup and recording in the field, as well as some post-production and post-workflow to get it out and up online to view in VR. So make sure you stick around and check back for all of those videos. You can hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to get notified when I put up new videos. If you guys enjoyed this little setup, definitely make sure to let me know in the comments below and let me know what else you guys wanna see on VR. And I'll see you guys in the next one.